Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Always Broke RC upgrade of the Tractor Sledge Tangerine. So, what we're going to work on right now is getting this body converted to orange so we get a little more pop on the orange of the body. So, bears with me. That a little off to the side so you guys can see. So looks pretty basic. Got a few screws in here to remove. Um, uh, looks like two of them here to remove and three back here to remove. So shouldn't be too long, shouldn't be too difficult to do. I could be completely wrong, but. I'm thinking I'm pretty right right now, guys. Yep, this is an easy upgrade to do to your traction sledge. Nothing hard about it, guys. Moving a few screws and taking a few plastic pieces off and putting a few new plastic pieces in. Too easy. Obviously, just play the game of matching pieces. So I got an orange one, and I got a black one. And we're just gonna swap them out. I'll have to grab hardware in a minute. I fumbled my hardware. Don't fumble your hardware. It's not very good. So I will say this, guys. If you're wanting to keep that realistic truck look, don't do this upgrade. Okay? Because this just makes it super flashy over the top. And if you're trying to keep a subdued look, this upgrade's not for you. But, if you want something that's eye-catching, jaw-dropping, make the women look twice at you, this is the one for you. Same thing, pops right out, universal piece, put in the right side. Um, the only thing I will say, there's a groove on the inside, the face is on the inside, so you could put these on wrong. There's a more sloped end and a non-sloped end. Just make sure you're putting the right one on, the right spot. Pretty easy to do, but you could screw it up. Just use a little attention to detail and you'll do just fine.
Yeah, I think you could do some really cool stuff with the custom painted body and these uh, aftermarket inserts that I'm doing right now. I don't know what you'd call them. I'm calling them body inserts. But I think you could do some pretty crazy stuff with this. Because, I mean, in theory, um, you could change colors. So one could be orange, one could be black. You know, I mean, you could... The sky's the limit as far as making something eye-catching. I mean, you do a custom painted body. I mean, heck, see? Even like now, if you just did it like that, that's different, you know? New half orange, half black. Too cool. Just too cool, guys. I'm really excited about this. Y'all hold your horses. I know you're getting as excited as I am to see Tangerine get completed. But we're still a little ways off. But we will get there. One day we will get there. Sad face. My body's crinkled in the back. That sucks. Hmm. Dang it. No, I did not crinkle it. It came crinkled. But that's too bad. I don't know if you guys can see. But we got some wrinkle spots right in here. That sucks. Luckily, you can't see them really. You'd have to really be looking for them to see them. Because that's just a sucky detail, man. Dang it. I don't think they're going to pop out. Cheap waxing. Brand new rig. Hasn't even been ran. It's already looks like it's been bashed. Unfreckin' believable. Um. So, if you're actually like going to keep this body or try to keep this body um, in really good shape, I mean 100% recommend you pull this whole cage out of it and you like rhino line it, shoe goo it, duct tape it, re you're going to have to reinforce it somehow. This, this is some not, you know, like it's not impressive Lexan thickness, I mean. I would, if I were really concerned about keeping this body nice and pristine and didn't, had to make it last for a hundred bash sessions, I definitely will, would be reinforcing the guts of this with about anything and everything. Flex seal, flex tape, flex this, flex that, rhino line, duct tape, super glue. Because, yeah, this, I can tell this body, it's it not going to hold well. So, kind of sad, but it is what it is. And you know what's even sadder, really, though? This body is like freaking 80 to to $100 now. You know what I mean? So expensive. And now that I'm putting these cool things on it, it's going to be even more...
we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten that you're still there watching me just loosen and unloosen bolts, but I'm just trying to get it done. Appreciate you sitting here staring at me as I wrench for a minute. But I gotta get them all on for it to do the big reveal. Gotta be patient. Patient. So, the funny thing about it is, technically, you could have a tangerine sledge, you could have a blueberry sledge, you could have a strawberry sledge, and you could have a kiwi sledge. Whoa! You know, it would be really funny is if they released a yellow sledge, because then you could have them almost, not quite really, but pretty close, you could almost have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers sledge, and then you could be like, I don't know. Power Rangers, assemble into something amazing. I know. I'm a nerd. But anyways. Ooh, that's looking good. That is looking good, boys and girls. Only a couple dozen more pieces. So all the hardware on the body is going to be a two and a half millimeter. I know I'm a bit late telling you. By now you've probably already figured it out if you're watching this video. I'm going to do this upgrade, but anyways, two and a half millimeter. That is one thing that's actually I'm liking about this sledge is they're using a lot of two and a half millimeter, which if you get into fifth scale, almost everything's two and a half millimeter or bigger. So it's good to see that they're using bigger hardware in my opinion. Hopefully, I get my battery shipment soon, and I can take this thing out and give it a rip and get a little dirt on this orange, you know? <sighs> Pardon the yawn. It's been a long day. We're going to get her done. You know, I really don't think Traxxas, though, did a like drag test on this body as far as where they've got some of this stuff 
I mean, it's not really body protecting that well, to be honest with you. It's just more like a convenient place to bolt this cage to this body. What I would like to see that would be kind of cool is if they could come up with this kind of a body mounting system for the X-Max, that would be pretty cool. I don't think they ever will, but I mean, really the body system they have for the X-Max is adequate, but this is just a little smoother, a little nicer. The last piece for the body. And then I'll show you guys how cool it looks. I know most of this is probably not even in camera while I'm filming this, but it's just so much easier to work with it in my hands than it is up there on the table. So anyways, that's what your sledge body will look like if you do the different color orange body upgrades. You get this piece, these two pieces, these two pieces, and these two pieces. So, just kind of offset you a little bit more. I think it looks pretty good. I'm digging it. Tangerine is coming along lovely like. Lovely like me. Yeah. And that is tangerine. Getting all oranged out. You almost don't even recognize it anymore. It's like a whole new rig. Oh man. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'll tell you that much, boys, right now. I ain't even completed with it. I mean, just imagine. Just imagine for a minute. We'll put these orange bad boys on. Oh, crap. No. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I thought I lost a pin. Put those bad boys on. Orange. Orange. Aluminum shock bodies and about all we got left to do folks And then it will be tangerine 101 But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, Like I said not much more I can do at the current moment So we'll call that for now until more upgrades come out that are orange and we'll have to get them too and There'll probably be an orange motor or something orange springs who knows gotta be more orange out there somewhere gotta find orange Springtime. We need more orange. So yeah. That's a pretty cool rig though. I will give it that. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I've inspired you to get out in RC. And giving you some valid information. Till next time. Always broke RC. Over and out.